Are you about to launch your Airbnb and you're looking at all this stuff that you need for your property and you're like, am I forgetting something? What do I need exactly? Well, get ready because in this video, it's about to go down. I don't want you to forget a thing. I've got a dozen, 15, 20 items. I'm going to go through them all for you right now in this video, what you're going to need, why you're going to need it. And let me tell you, I've got a pro I've got like the secret in the video somewhere. I'm going to pop up a URL. You have the chance to win. Uh, it's a free hour of consultation with me to win. All you have to do is go to the website, put in your info. I pick one person a month. It's kind of something fun I do, right? So watch the whole video. It's like a game for you to see when is that going to happen? All right, let's get right to the list. Extras. First thing, you need extras. What? What am I talking about? You need extras of everything. Blankets. Pillows. <laughs> Definitely toilet paper. This one's getting a little bit low. Be sure you have enough cups, coffee cups, wine glasses, utensils, plates, bowls, have enough for as many people as you are going to sleep at your property. There's nothing worse than a property having four plates, but they can sleep eight people. Eight people want to sit down and have a dinner and they can't do it. Have enough for everyone. <sighs> Coffee. Make sure you have, excuse me. So don't forget tea. We have tea friends. Tea drinkers, coffee, make sure you have plenty. You can have a Keurig machine if you like, or you can do a, uh, a brew, however you want to do it. Just have selections for your guests. Make sure you have all the essentials of cooking pots, pans, cooking utensils, spatulas, spoons to stir, knives to cut, scissors. Scissors are huge. I'm always looking for scissors at an Airbnb as well as our own. Uh, make sure you have scissors. Also, simple things like cooking oil, simple spices, salt and pepper. Check out these rad things that I just found at this Airbnb that we're staring at right now. That's fun. If you're liking the video so far, don't forget to punch me in the face. Hit the like button. That really helps out the video. And don't forget, be looking for the secret website on the screen that you need to write down and go to later. All right, in the bedroom, in the closets, make sure you have space for people that want to unpack their suitcases and put their clothes in a drawer. Hangers for the closet, that one's huge. Toiletries in the bathroom, you can either supply minis, shampoo and conditioners like you would get at a hotel, or you can do a giant one. Make sure you have simple cleaning products under the sink. If people have spills, they're gonna wanna clean up stuff. Make sure you give them a way to do that. Plenty of paper towels, as well as extra paper towels extra trash bags in case they fill up one and they want to take it out. They're going to need more trash bags. Basically anything that they would need to live at the home if you were to walk into the house and live there, right? I've got a few more bonus ones for you. What if someone coming is going to have pets and you allow pets or what, are they going to have children? Could you provide a high chair for them? Could you provide a pack and play or a crib so that people don't have to pack those things? What about pet bowls like water and food bowls for someone's pets? Things like this can really set your listing apart and these can be essentials for you. Don't forget safety. You're gonna need a fire extinguisher, smoke alarm, carbon monoxide detectors, a safety plan that you can put on like the fridge with the emergency plan exits, phone numbers to call. So in the next video, once you get that guest booked, if you get a problem guest, or maybe you wanna figure out how to avoid these problem guests, watch the next video. I'm gonna show you what we've learned in 10 years of having our Airbnb of how to avoid these problem guests.